Hi my fellow Gem Gems. So I am um off as explain. I'm gonna be doing a lot more YouTube from now on. Uh so please like, share, subscribe. I'm still banned on Facebook <laughs> uh for saying menopause. Felt like my body was murdering itself. Um there's a lot was said on there. But here it is. Um so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be working more on YouTube and trying to get more free readings put out there. I have got an offer on at the minute for the two question email video where you send me two questions and I send you a video back answering your questions with the tarot. Uh that's on for eleven eleven um for the new moon, celebrate the new moon. So it'll be on for two weeks up until the full moon and so that that will all be in my description box below you can go to my website and book on there so i'm gonna jump straight in i'm gonna be using my empowerment oracle deck one that i designed and i'm gonna be using the gilded tarot to clarify the storyline so for gemini for september the need for balance so it's like balancing the scales what do we need what do we need to let go of what do we need to manifest in what do we need to bring in what do we need to let go of you know, because sometimes we hold on to things that are no longer serving us. When really, we could be chilling out. So it could be done with a Libra. You could have Libra in your uh, chart as well. So what's challenging or blocking Gemini? Yeah, the past. So we've got the Haunted card. So something from the past or someone from the past. A situation from the past. Always feeling like you're having to like kind of look over your shoulder towards the past. So the challenge is to kind of start forward facing now instead of keep looking back over your shoulder you might feel like you are being like haunted by someone's energy but it's time to look forward it's time to turn around no longer like looking towards the uh shadows of the past as well so it could be memories and things like that so why is this coming around now for gemini sacral chakra so your sacral chakra is around your womb sexual organs it's about creativity and ideas um it's where we create as a female you know um but the sacral chakra it's about getting creative now so in order to manifest better things to come in i feel like it is about manifestation um the sacral chakra is trying to like kind of awaken so there could be blockages on the sacral chakra so it could be past relationships so you know when when we are with somebody we carry their energy um especially because we share sacral chakra energy um so it could be a past relationship that's kind of the stigmas still there so recent past yeah i keep getting this manifestation energy so you could be trying to manifest someone back from the past i'd be careful with that with the haunted card and the need for balance but eh ho go with what makes you flow <laughs> um so it is about manifesting what do you need to let go of you know what do you need to bring in because at present it's doing it from the heart you know so the heart chakra wants love the heart chakra is love it's just pure love there's nothing else but love um so the heart chakra it's almost like manifesting from the heart and that is the best way to manifest so gemini you are seriously manifesting so be really careful with your thoughts I'm a double Gemini and I know that. <laughs> Near future, recognition. So I kind of feel like it's getting what your heart's desire, you know, you know, getting your heart's desire, feeling on top of the world, ending a cycle, some kind of stigma from the past. You know, this is going to be over and done with soon because you're feeling on top of the world. You know, it's being like recognised as well for the work that you do or for the person that you are, the healing that you've done, for the manifestations that you brought into play. Your power is letting go. So we've got the letting go card there. So your power is to let go. It's to kind of sit and reminisce over the things. These can't hurt you anymore. You know, the bolt are behind the gate. They can't hurt you. We can reminisce over them without having to um, take on board the emotions that used to be there with them things. So our power now is to let go. It's to let go of anything that's no longer serving us in order to manifest better things to come in. The outside influence to this, yeah, is the ruins. So someone could have had you like down on your knees. You could have been like, you know, feeling totally like drained. Bricks and mortar, you know, so you could have been dealing with a karmic. Uh, it could be a work situation, manifesting uh, new finances, that type of thing. But the light's still shining down on the ceiling. There's a brand new fresh start waiting for you to get up off your knees and let go of anything that's no longer serving you. Let go of anything that makes you feel like that because you deserve to feel like that. 
completely different energy. Total end of the scales. Hopes or fears from spirit. Third eye chakra. That you see the bigger picture of why things had to happen the way they did. Why they're going the way they are doing. You know, that's how, you know the third eye is, is the major, you know. It's seen with clarity. It's seen the truth of situations. Sometimes the truth can be hard. But sometimes we have to open our eyes and see the truth. Our outcome is love. So you could be manifesting love. Just be careful that you're not manifesting someone from the past as well as a new one <laughs> with your manifestations without realising it. If you're thinking, because we are in a new moon, if you're thinking about somebody a lot and you're wanting love, you could. we've, we've got Mercury Retrograde at the end of this month. We all know Mercury Retrograde can <laughs> bring those ghosts back from the past. And we don't want that. Well, some of you might. So let's have a look. So need for balance for Gemini in the situation. Strength. Strength in reverse. So something from the past has kind of um you may have felt like like you lost your strength in this situation, you know, down on your knees, like, how the hell am I gonna get up from this? You did get up though. I feel like you you are getting up. You are finding that spiritual strength. Could have been dealing with Leo. Something could have happened in Leo season. So the challenge being haunted, we have the moon in reverse. So it's like the illusions are gone. You, you know, you can see through this now. You've seen through the illusions of where, you know, if this was a relationship, someone could have like, you know, offered a dream, delivered a nightmare, that type of energy. Um, you're seeing through it now. We've got Pisces there, so you could do with Pisces. I've got Leo, I've got Libra. Um, but it's like you're seeing through it now. You're seeing, you're seeing through these facades type energies. But it still haunts you. And it's maybe may a case of like, why did I stay there for so long if I I have already seen this? You know, we do that. We see red flags. We do stay in situations that we shouldn't have, you know, for longer than we should. Um, take it as it resonates. Keep getting a lot of haters from cross watchers, but this is the energy I'm in. So take it as it resonates. So the sacral chakra... The Queen of Swords, no bullshit. So the Queen of Swords, she has got to a point in life where she's had enough. Like she has had enough of drainers. She has had enough of liars, of cheaters, you know, that type of thing. She is not planning on sharing her sacral energy with no one unless they're bringing to the table what she's bringing. You know, she will like, she will cut you off dead. <laughs> the Queen of Swords is like, boom, she is the bomb. You know, she's got to that point now. She doesn't need anybody. She's independent. And she will, you can, the Queen of Swords does not mess about. She's, you can bring her a story. And as soon as she thinks you're lying, as soon as she thinks you're lying, boom, sword is down. So it's coming around because you need to cut certain things off. Whether that be within jobs, love, whatever it is in your life, that's out of balance. So we've got the King of Cups in the past. Could be a little weird past, Cancer Scorpio in the past. That could be who you're trying to manifest back or you're trying to manifest a better life away from this person. The Hermit, Virgo. So could have, things could have happened whilst we were in lockdowns, isolation, that type of thing. But whatever it were that happened in the past, it kind of flipped your emotions um, upside down. So you've had to heal from that. You've had to go into Hermit mode to heal from that. The Hermit does the inner work in order to, you know, eventually come out of the cave and now it's time for you to come out of the cave so we've got the heart chakra at present seven of swords in reverse so you, you're not like putting up with any drainers at all it's almost like gemini you have got this like i'm gonna say bitch head <laughs> um it's not cold hearted or anything it's just like i'm not putting up with anything anymore that is it i know what i bring to the table if you don't match it go and eat somewhere else you know, park your bum on a different bench. <laughs> that type of thing. It's like you're not willing to put up with it. No sneaking, lying, cheating, deception. You know, it's like your energy is just not putting up with it because of what you've had to go through in the past. Five pentacles there. So you could have blocked someone. Um, you could have, you, you must have really loved this person because we've got the heart, you know, with the heart chakra being there. It could be hard to block out someone who you really love, but it's almost like you're coming to a point where you're realising that this person is not good for you or this situation is not good for you. It's looking like a person, but... Take it as it resonates. Got a page of wands in reverse. Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. Again, flatty energy. You know, they came in exciting. They came in, you know, 
offering a, a dream, delivering a nightmare. Um, and then we've got a judgment. So it's like you're making a judgment call now. And in your manifestations, you're, at, you're being asked to make a judgment call. What is going to serve you better? What do you want? Because you've got recognition in the near future. So that's victory. It's winning. Four of Cups in reverse. No more feeling of lack. No more feeling like you're missing out on anything. <coughs> I feel like you're giving yourself that energy. Two of Cups coming up. Ooh. Some of my Geminis are meeting someone. Three of Pentacles could be at work. Could be through work. Could be just a party. It could be a partnership. That works really good. Because we've got teamwork makes the dream work with the Three of Pentacles. Uh, there could be new job offers coming in as well. So if you're worried about finances, there could be collaborations. Um, <coughs> sorry. People coming in, offering help within finances. The Nine of Cups, it's like celebrating. I am seeing some dates coming through. So if you're trying to manifest love, I do think, yeah. High Priestess, trust your intuition. Five of Cups in reverse. No regrets. No looking back. But definitely going forwards in career or forwards in Five of Swords in reverse. So you're taking that control back. You know, you're coming away from controlling people, whether that be in your work life, family life, love life, six of cups. Then we've got this person from the past. Now I want flat energy. Someone who kind of comes in and out. I feel like you need to make a judgment call on this person. If that's what's happening and someone is being flatty with you, you know, they're in, they're out. You don't hear from them for weeks and then they'll send you a message going, hey, miss you. It's time for the flip the bird. Uh, you know, don't be used, don't be put in that situation by player energy because you've got two of cups in your future. Your power, letting go. Maybe this person you've got, you've got some kind of bonds to, but your power is to let go and to kind of recognise your worth, you know, self-love, self-care, putting yourself on your own pedestal. You know, I deserve better than this. I deserve... More than someone who's just coming in and out my life whenever they feel like it. Outside influence the ruins. Because they make you feel crappy. <laughs> so looking at this, it's almost like someone comes in, they spend a little bit of time with you and then they just sort off. And then you feel really crap and punish yourself and then they come back in and it feels really good and then they go back out. You know, it's that type of energy. So it could be dealing with um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And we've got the two of wands in reverse. It's just not going anywhere with that person. But if you let that person go, you've got two of cups coming up. <laughs> just third eye chakra, you've got to see it. See, you've got a divine counterpart coming in. Could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, doesn't matter the suit. It's a divine counterpart. It's a true counterpart. It could be a soul minute. Tell me more about this King of Swords and the love card. The Hierophant. A divinely guided union so this could come as a bit of a surprise but i feel like it's not as much of a surprise because you the wounded warrior you know it's like you get up and you've carried on plodding on it's almost like a karmic reward for the crap that you've been you know so after the woundings comes general ones Dropping the burdens, healing from the past, being divinely guided forward into love. You're manifesting love because you're starting to love yourself. Eight of Cups, you're off on new emotional adventures. You know, it's like that we're no longer looking back and we did have the Haunted card crossing. So at present, it's almost like to concentrate on leaving the past behind and you're off on new adventures, especially emotional adventures. It is Cups, it's emotions, it's love. You're realising that you are the cream of the crop. Eight of Swords in reverse. Never been put back in that situation where you're questioning yourself, questioning your own worth because someone else didn't see your worth at that time. Five of Wands in reverse. There's no point in fighting for something that's dead. You won't walk a dead dog. You know, that sounds awful me saying that, but it, it just comes out. I'm sorry. Page of Swords. This, there's still someone from the past that kind of watching or kind of like trying to get some type of information on the gemini i do feel like there's going to be options in love and i feel like it's going to be past and future just be careful of this flatty energy this player energy yeah we've got a tower in reverse so there could have been a, a big break or a big bust up with this person from the past for some reason i feel like they could be <laughs> trying to come back in three of cups 
So, celebrations, it's time for you to be happy, it's time for you to realise this. Queen of Wands could be definitely going towards a fire sign, Sagittarius Leo, Aries, or you could have been dealing with a fire sign. We do have Ten of Swords, it's time to heal a situation. Then we've got Victory, Public Recognition. Someone from the past could have realised actually what they've done um, to your energy, you know, what, how they've made you feel. You never know. Some people do. Everyone can change. The Chariot, Sign of Cancer, positive movement forward. I do feel like there's going to be definitely be options in which way you're going, past or future. The Eight of Pentacles, we've got recovery there though, doing the work on yourself. Kind of feel like you're recovering from the past so that you can have new adventures in love in the future. So I shall be back next week. That did turn into a love reading, but I am going to be back next week for the love readings. Okay, bye.